community. Thank you for the opportunity to speak to you. Bring your uh, microphone closer. Thank you. My name is Gary Amrine, and I own and operate Grazer River Trophies with my wife, Jim. Our small business is a hunting, fishing, and horseback riding outfit in the Wyoming range of Western Wyoming. These mountains provide our livelihood and a safe environment where we've lived for many years and have raised three wonderful daughters. People from all over the world come to enjoy the basin where I live. They come to hunt, they come to fish, they come to just relax. Nearly every type of recreation is here. Backcountry skiing, snowmobiling, horseback riding, backpacking, canoeing, and much more. In recent years, the production of natural gas has brought many new jobs to the region, and our economy has shifted suddenly from tourism and agriculture to extraction. Some businesses enjoy the bustling economy, but the rapid increase of gas production on public lands has also come at a price. Small tourism businesses like mine in and around my hometown of Pinedale, Wyoming, are paying the price of the rapid growth. Our business depends upon our great outdoors heritage particularly abundant wildlife and fish populations, and wide open beautiful vistas. I've got to tell you that all three are in decline in the rural area where I live. Like I said, there is a price to pay for the boom we are experiencing. Every year I have hunters come to my hunting camp from all over the country and even other parts of the world. They spend money in my hometown and they pay for my services. Some are starting to go other places rather than return for a hunt with me. Why? because fewer licenses are available to non-resident hunters in, in years past. Non-resident mule deer licenses have dropped from 1,400 to 800 in the past five years, a reflection of our declining deer herd, which has fallen nearly 50% in recent years, due in part to the ongoing impacts of energy development. The gas industry has also impacted the diversity of the economy across the Rocky Mountain region. When our local Sublette County Outfitters and Guides Association in Wyoming wanted to host the annual spring convention of the Wyoming Outfitters and Guides Association this past spring, there were not enough motel rooms available for everyone as gas workers had rented them all. The convention had to be moved to another community, giving that, that chapter the opportunity to reap the benefits of hosting the spring convention. This is a meeting that brings several thousand dollars to the host community, money that the Sublet County Outfitters used for the benefit of the local community. A portion of this money would have been used for the funding of local college scholarships. Sublet County will not have the opportunity to host this event for several years as a convention rotates around the state. Sure, the non-sustainable industry brings money to our town, but tourism is renewable. I think we can have both industries. I think we can have balance. Right now, the Wyoming Range Legacy Act, S-2229, is working its way through the Senate. This is a bill that gives us a little bit of balance by setting aside 1.2 million acres of public national forests from future oil and gas leasing. This is a place where other uses and other diverse businesses contribute to other segments of our economy, in particular, ranching and tourism. These are aspects of our economy that are sustainable and renewable. Oil and gas are not. I am not against oil and gas development. I'm not a hypocrite. I heat my home with natural gas. I burn fossil fuels when I haul my horses in the mountains. But I do think there are places that are too special to drill. Come out and see for yourself. I'll have a horse saddled for you. Wyoming is leading the way in energy production. Sublet County, where I live, is a big part of it. Two of the country's largest gas fields, the Pinedale Anacline and the Jonah Field, are within a short drive of my house. The impacts to wildlife in both these areas from intense energy development have been dramatic. Researchers have found mule deer respond to development immediately, showing avoidance and a change in habitats, which has ultimately led to the decline in the mule deer populations by 46 percent. We Wyoming people are a practical lot. We know that sometimes it is tough to live here, far away from shopping malls and interstates. But we also love our wildlife and our wild country. We know that there is a place for balance. Right now, we feel like that scale is tipping very much in favor of the gas industry over the traditional ranching and tourism economy. Over the past decade, the federal government has leased nearly 27 million acres for oil and gas development, 
resulting in an unprecedented loss of fish and wildlife habitat in the Rocky Mountain states. Nearly 20% of Wyoming, accounting for more than 13 million acres, is leased for oil and gas development. We'd like to keep some of our valuable public lands for our kids, for their kids, for your kids, for balance. Again, thank you for the opportunity. I'm happy to answer any questions.